everybody. It is I, Huo Huo. Huo Huo is back again to give you a tutorial because uh, the old one might be a little bit outdated because, um, you know, there might be a little couple of things that might need to be, uh, like clarified. I know that a lot of people were asking questions like, oh, where's, where's the bat file? It's, it's not there. It's not downloaded. Um, so I will clarify a couple things. First of all, when you download VTube Studio, um, normally there are two ways, I believe, if I remember correctly, that you can download VTube Studio. You can download VTube Studio from the website or you can download it from Steam. Normally you would want to download it from Steam because you will receive regular updates that way. It is the way that I would recommend getting it. And it, it's literally free, you guys. Like, it's free. Also, you may notice the watermark that used to hover around last time. It's not there anymore. Um, I got the paid version, so yeah, we got we got that going. Um, now, you, you may be a little bit confused about how um, we would get on to enabling the virtual camera. That is a very simple thing to do. Trust me, it is very, very easy to do. First, we are going to go over to webcam tracking video and visual settings. Oh, actually, I for almost forgot. What if you're here in this menu? Oh, you don't see anything? You have to double click and you will bring up all these buttons. And then settings. And then you click this camera button. And then you just scroll down, scroll down, and oh, oh, it's right there. Virtual webcam config. Now, it may be a little bit confusing about how you get the setup, but it's very easy. First, to make sure everything's all good, you click installation help. Installation help, yes. And then you see this, you gotta read this, very important. You click the open folder, but we won't click that yet. You are gonna open the install bat as is as an in administrator. You want to make sure that you launch it as an administrator. Now we're gonna do that real quick. We open folder, we click the file, we right click. Oh, it's not doing that. It's because it's Windows 11. We click it again and right click, and we make sure run as administrator. Now I will run this just to make sure like, oh, it's working. Confirm, 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 and it should all work. Now, you won't see it pop up right away in, um, in you know, uh, Discord, which is, is it's going to be a little bit confusing at first, but that's okay. Because, um, you need to, you need to close Discord completely. Like, not only just close the window, you right click it, quit completely close discord completely close discord yes and then you know, to you simply type in discord you launch it again launching again make sure it's all working and once it's loaded in bam shabam it's all it's all it's all good and then to test just to make sure you know it's working we're gonna go in, in, into a VC, and then, oh, it's me talking there. Turn on the camera. Look at that. I'm right here. I'm, it's working, guys. And this this is pretty pretty cool. Um, so you do want to make sure that, because like with current Discord, you're gonna go here, you're gonna make sure the camera is VTube Studio Cam. Specifically, VTube Studio Cam, yes. And it should work just completely fine. It should work seamlessly because um, it's 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 so easy to set up. Now you may find like, oh, what if I want to change the background? Well, that's very simple. You can go here, change background, and all that other stuff that you would learn throughout using uh, VTube Studio. But other than that, it is very very simple to set up. Please please let me know if you guys have any questions. In the comments below but um otherwise thank you so much for taking the time to um watch this new video and um i don't know yeah share it with anyone you think might need this you might think it's useful to them and uh i'll see you guys in the next video